The operant chamber was used to have Lola pair a voluntary behavior with a treat. Lola was placed into the Skinner box where she chose to press the bar she gets a pellet. <laughs> We used a clicker to try and get Lola to correlate that sound to food coming. Before the sound of a clicker meant nothing to her, but now she can anticipate food coming after the clicker sound. We used the clicker as a neutral stimulus. In order for the rat to understand the clicker means there is food coming, the sound has to be given a second before the food. God delayed conditioning. The food is what we used as the unconditioned stimulus because it naturally motivates the rat to show a reflex or emotion. Chaining is when you combine multiple tricks. Lola used this when she did the obstacle uh, courses. First she walked a couple of steps, then she jumped out of the tank, walked across the rope, and did the click and food trick. In this video, Lola kept wanting to jump out of the tank. In order to stop the noise stimulus of being stuck inside the tank, Lola jumped out of the tank. Avoidance. Lola went over the Dow rod quickly in order to prevent an annoying stimulus, which in this case would be falling onto the ground. Miss Vita showed us how to get Lola to go in a circle by getting her hand low and twisting it around. We then mimicked that same behavior by getting our hands low and twisting so Lola would follow our hand with a treat. We used the method of shaping when we got Lola to first spin around using the cheese. Then we took the cheese away for her to spin around without using the cheese. 